boss, you there? We have a problem. The staff have found out everything that Emmerich's been up to. They're right on the edge. I need you to intervene before things get out of control. Get back to Mother Base ASAP. Nine years ago, this man acted as accomplice to the attack on Motherbase. He then provided support to Skullface. Conspiring with Eli, he repaired Sohalanthropus in secret. His research materials caused the leak at the quarantine facility, which in turn caused the Walbachia mutation, letting the parasites off their chains. He lost a lot of good men. He also stands accused of murdering one of his own family, hiding the body. I haven't killed anyone. The rest is all wrong, too. The inspection was supposed to help everyone. I sacrificed myself for my companions just as much as any of you. Why won't you believe me? Prosecution calls a witness. Strange Love's gravestone, haunted by her phantom. It's just a machine. You forced your own son into the cockpit of a Metal Gear, a test subject. How? His mother had to hide him away, and for that you locked her in that coffin. No! She, she did it herself! It was suicide! And even if I did, what right do you have? There's more. We have you to tell us everything you've done, everything you've thought, all this time. Nine years ago. You agreed to the inspection in return for Cypher's guarantee that you'd be spared. I thought it was real! We've reviewed into everything else that's happened since you arrived here. Please. Guilty! All counts. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Exist outside the law. What should we do, boss? Just give the order. We'll handle the rest. Prepare a life raft. Big enough for one. Food and water, too. Boss. He's leaving. You... He's responsible for... For all of this! Think of all the men! He just lose a damn thing! This is the enemy! And he's here on his knees! Us. You are right. He is not one of us. But we are not responsible to judge an enemy. He leaves Mother Base, and that'll be the end of it. Touch 
I'm innocent! You're the murderers! Snake! You should be in this boat! There'd have been no inspection if it weren't for your precious nuke! I risked my life trying to save you all! How can you do this? Am I the only sane one here? I... I... It's not my fault! Look, you can't discard your phantoms forever, Doctor. Son of a bitch will make it, you know. I can see it now. In no time, he'll be telling tales about the black-hearted diamond dogs. The shining white knight, blabbering on about our injustice, hiding behind his fool's idea of morality. And all the other fools will stand around, nodding with every word he says. No. One day he'll see to the lies he's built up, realize what kind of man he really is. What goes around comes around. Can't lock in yourself forever. List Boss, maybe you realize by now, but updated. there's no other way to say it. Quiet's gone. She pulled her camo stunt, stowed away on a departing chopper. After pinpointing which she took, we figured out her destination. Afghanistan. Get after her. Only you can do this. Boss, I told you this would happen. I wish I could say a good riddance, but Quiet knows too much about us. We can't just leave her out there. Remember what you told me when she first got here. One of these days, we're gonna have to kill her. When the time comes, I'll pull the trigger. I'd say that time has come. The R&D team's going to take over Emmerich's work. He may be gone, but it won't affect us one bit. We'll be able to deliver whatever you need just like before. You can depend on that. One other thing. I'm tracking his whereabouts. Nothing to report at the moment, though. Let it go. He's gone. The guy's gone. I know. I just want to be sure. Not like I'm losing sleep over this son of a bitch. Open this thing! Huey! Damn it, Huey! Open it now! Please! Let me out! Kill me. Kill me! If only I'd tried to get out sooner. Perhaps I'd have made it. Why didn't I stop the hatch from closing? Even if it meant losing an arm. Distant. But you can hear me, can't 
you, Choi. I know you care. You're a cause in all of this. Deep down, some memory board he'll never find. Duplicating it. Burying it under heaps of meaningless code. <laughs> anyway, I guess I can say what needs to be said. I can still do that much. Talk to you. Even if I can't face you. Even if there's a heaven. Even if you're waiting there. I don't deserve to see. Don't deserve to love you. I signed up for Zero's plan. Even now that he's halfway to dead, his plan lives on, leeching away at the world. And it took your strength to make it happen. I'm losing you. I got the world in his palm. Once and for all. Zero. Zero. Or whoever it is who's taken his name. They found me. After the Caribbean. They made me simulate his will. So that even after the body was gone, that will would keep the world turning the way they wanted. I had no choice. I dredged Largo Corsi Volca, pulled up your phantom. Revive and modify you. I thought I could bring you back, but in the end, I sold your will to him. Phantom's no longer here. As for me, everything I touch turns to ashes. I could never make anyone happy. <coughs> and now I'll never see my son again. But at least Hal's. Free from his father's hands. Me with child. Can you imagine? I wonder how you took the news. Were you jealous? I knew what I was doing. If I could pass your will onto a child I carried, my genes, your meme, a father would be irrelevant. If I did that, that child would be ours.
conceit, base as there is. Of course, I couldn't see through the dream. The false you I created. I only wanted to pass your will on to the next generation. Zero took it away. And now I haven't just lost you. I've lost my... Oh, Hal. Can you forgive... the mother who couldn't protect you? The one who let them take it all away from us. No. Oh. There's still hope. You, the one he took away, he'll never break your will. The will to make this world the way you saw it could be. I buried code just to be sure. Inside of you, there is an egg. And when someone finds it, when they crack it, there'll be nothing left to stop you. The world you envision will become a reality. The system the framework of all war will protect you. You do need me. You just need to be strong enough. I know you are. I was looking at things wrong. What do you mean? All of you. Until now, I had thought of your organization, Diamond Dogs, as a super organism. Uh, you'll have to explain that one. The term refers to a unit of eusocial insects like ants or bees. While made up of many individuals, they behave as though they are one organism with the queen as their nerve center. The close ties you share here reminded me of that. 
though the boss's efforts do pull us all together. I was not finished. I'm speaking in terms of homogeneity. You come from all walks of life, do you not? Many races and tongues, talents and pasts, complementing each other, influencing each other, making Diamond Dogs the unique group that it is. Of course. We have no use for mindless drones around here. Is that so? Then perhaps an organization like yours is a truer superorganism than the ants and bees. Meaning? Most organisms adapt to their environment by coexisting with other species. Take the cow, for instance. Its rumen, the first stomach, contains an incredible number of bacteria which digest the food it has consumed. Without their help, the cow could not break down the fiber ring grasses. The cow has to outsource its means of survival to them. You don't say. Man is the same. Some 100 trillion bacteria live inside the human intestines. Without the bacteria, they could not function properly. And it does not stop there. The stomach, the mouth, the skin. Even the placenta contains bacteria that coexist with us. The same is true of parasites. In fact, the human immune system has evolved based on parasites being a part of it. Without them, the immune system can run amok and even damage other parts of the body. This is all very interesting, but what does it have to do with diamond dogs? A harmonious superorganism is made up not of a group of homogeneous individuals, but of diverse individuals that complement each other. That is what I saw in your group here. Then it occurred to me that man is a superorganism. Man's phenotype is not determined solely by his genetics. Some say if you mapped the genomes of all bacteria in the human body, the result would be over 100 times bigger than the human genome. The sum of man's genome and those of the organisms he coexists with, call it a metagenome, creates the superorganism we know as a human being. Well, now that's quite a leap. You think so? Then try a broader perspective. If our world were a human body, you would be parasites. You make a living by doing the dirty work that the world powers cannot handle themselves. From their perspective, you are likely a nuisance. But without you, pus would build up around the world, and autotoxemia, self-poisoning, would follow. The world needs your kind. Well, thank goodness for that. Skullface forced me to turn parasites into weapons. Creatures with which we are supposed to coexist. Meanwhile, that foundation I worked with focus solely on the human genome, apparently thinking that manipulating it would get them whatever new form they want. Both ways are mistakes. Neither is a true superorganism. I am Dine by speaking with those living inside me. We enhance one another and enjoy harmonious growth. Such was the original purpose of my research. You have made me remember this. <laughs> well, it's an honor. You can travel the world, but you won't find another place like this. If the whole world was like this base, I think the peoples of the world would bid farewell to fighting for good. Maybe that's what the boss wanted in the end. Pinpointing the cause of the vocal cord parasites mutation enabled us to purge an enemy from Mother Base. You mean that scientist? Yeah, I was convinced he'd betrayed us, but I was wrong. He was never on our side to begin with. 
So ultimately, there was no traitor among us. And yet I made everyone distrustful with my talk of spies. The end result being men turning on each other in the laboratory. You must not blame yourself. They were all infected with the mutated strain. The outcome would have been the same. You know, we defeated Skullface, but it didn't lessen our pain. It's a pain we'll never be rid of. I see that now. But I thought I could burn it away. In the end, all I burned was our own men. Infectious diseases, parasites. Without such foreign enemies, the immune system will start attacking the body, developing allergies and autoimmune diseases. The same is true of organizations. You're right. But I do not deserve to rebuke you. My desire to retaliate against the English language is what attracted me to the focal cord parasites in the first place. Had it not been for that, I would never have been used by Skullface. We both allowed revenge to crawl into our minds and lay its eggs. Sahelanthropus will unleash that thirst onto the future. How long are we going to be tormented by what he left behind? There is no choice but to live with that pain. Be symbiotic with our vengeful nature. Whatever we do, we must not allow that thirst for revenge to control us. Got secure quiet as a side look. And... Sold the world. Escaped the hospital. Well, we're gonna do the side op. And these missions. These last few missions. With the exception of having to do some of these backtrack missions here between them. The cutscenes have been amazing, and so uh, the, just the story unfoldings uh, got me quite intrigued. And I want to play more, but I want to have to take a break soon. You guys obviously won't see that break, but uh, I will. And I don't want to stop, but I'll have to, and I'll... Uh, getting late. So I have no... I have no buddy. I cannot have a buddy. Um, shit. If secure quiet. Keep. I'll keep the sniper rifle. Alright, yeah. If I have to restart, I'll restart. Get some different weapons if need be. Hopefully, we get a cutscene here at the start of this mission. That'd be nice. tells me that before I start a mission, not when I'm actually on a mission. And I hope I start a mission. She doesn't want to try to kill me. She's. Oh, yeah, I don't have a diamond dog with me. I was going to like, have him go out and help me. complete 
Analysis complete. Analysis complete. More people here than I was expecting. Quag should be around there somewhere. Analysis complete. Sure, she might be up on one of these uh, mountaintops, maybe. Oh, uh, I got the damaged one. I thought I bought got the sleeping one. Up there. Dang it. Boss, get down. The what? Well, that should enable you to sneak past enemies. Did you see that? What? Who is this? Okay, that's complete. that's a real sniper. How oh, I wanted to. I don't know that sniper shot me yet. I'm surprised. Injured. I shot the uh, what the hell? He fell and knocked himself out. Quiet. Quiet isn't there. Has she been moved somewhere? You see any intel files lying around? Intel file obtained. Extraction arrived at mud base. 